So, I'm making this video in response to 84 Random Dude's um, latest, uh, one of his latest videos uh, of his uh, Bradford White Water Heater. So, I'm at my dad's apartment building. Uh, and this is the Bradford White 50 gallon high recovery water heater in the building. Uh, it serves two apartments two 1,200 square foot apartments with a single bathroom and up to six people living in the apartments at times and also the business above which is my mom's store. You can see the specs here. If we get it to focus, okay, so 48 gallons, 65,000 BTU input so it's a standard uh, high recovery 50 gallon model. I set the Temperature to 130. That, yeah, that's 130. The one it replaced was a 50 gallon standard recovery water heater, and that was that just couldn't cut it for the apartments because there's also two uh, washers in the apartments, two washers and dryers, a dishwasher, so they're full apartments. And uh, if somebody uh, did laundry and then somebody in another apartment took a shower and then somebody in another apartment turned the washer on then you're hopeless out of hot water this one does much better I, I when we when I when we put it in I tested it out and uh, it was able to fill up two washers and take a shower at the same time without even running out of hot water and it has run out before but um, it, it's high recovery so it recovers it's hot again in about 20 minutes, so I, I don't, uh, when I ask the tenants, I don't hear any complaints anymore. Uh, and this is the boiler for the apartments. This serves the apartments and two radiators in the back of the store. It's uh, Buderus or Buterus. I don't know why I always call it Buterus, but that's what I call it, but I think it's pronounced Buderus. This is... Um, this was put in in October of 2007. It replaced it replaced an old dinosaur of a 1960s boiler that was it it was about I don't know I'd say it was about twice this thing's size and then capacity this that thing was just huge it was about 400,000 BTUs input about 200 output because it was about 50 percent efficient it was just insane to use it was the gas bills were just astronomical. It was over a thousand dollars in the winter months to run that old boiler. This one is 85 percent efficient. You can see in the back here, let me turn this light on, you can see in the back here it's got a stainless steel exhaust and then it's got an intake. And uh, this is all the piping, the expansion tank. Um, there's two circulators because there's a uh, there's um, two different, there, this, that circulator on the left there is for the original piping and this second one is for the new piping which is this, all this PEX pipe because we added some radiators when this boiler was put in because there were two, there were two um, porches that were converted into family rooms and they had no heat so we added heat to them so that's the re supply side and that's the return side that's the original uh, hot water uh, piping. That's where that goes out. Circuit breaker panels for the places. Gas meters. Um, so this is the original uh, piping up here. Pretty big. That's it's like three inch diameter there, because it used to be um, it used to be hot water gravity heating. So you can see the piping here. It used to be wrapped in asbestos, but the previous owner removed it at one point, except those joints there. This is like two, two and a half inch diameter piping. A lot of these runs were disconnected because there used to be there used to be tons of radiators in the building, and over the years, people were started removing them because the building was well when. Uh, when remodels were done, people removed them, which wasn't really that bad of a thing because the radiation had to have been 
triple what the building required so the radiators weren't really missed and then this last this end of the line runs to two huge radiators in the second and third floor living rooms that was one of the ones that I had in the back bedroom but uh, it was too small so we put a larger radiator in that's the sump pump something stinks but yeah this building obviously it looks pretty old the building is um, the building geez the building is about 96 years old maybe a hundred I'm not too sure but I think 1915 was the build date um, so oh and here's the controls for the boiler that's a two zone control but then uh, when I decided I didn't want the back bedrooms to have a thermostat anymore I combined the zones into one and put a thermostat down here that's the Vision Pro and uh, put a remote sensor in one of the apartments so now nobody can mess with the heating and uh, yeah so that's the controls and I think I pretty much covered everything um, water heater so uh, that'll be all hope you enjoyed